once we get stuff powered up, in order to switch from the planter to the combine, we're going to go to setup. Then we're going to go into equipment. And then down at the bottom, implement type, we will go in and select combine. Click yes. And it will switch over to the combine side. And we'll want to go through and verify that our configuration is correct. In this case, we're working on an S series. And we'll go in and select 670. And then on your moisture sensor, um, if it is pulling through OEM can, it'll come in that direction. If it is a standalone moisture sensor, um, you'd come in and specify which one's on there. Um, most common to it either be the precision or the um, aftermarkets. Next, we'll want to go into our measurements and go in and set our forward distance of the front axle for the GPS. Um, measure from the globe to this. And the next one is whether or not we're off of center. Most of the time we try to keep those critters on center. Measurement C is going to be your wheelbase from your front and rear axles. And then finally your height from the ground up to the globe. And then we'll go into our headers. What we will end up doing in here is from the axle on a corn head to your snapping rollers on any other head to the sickle bar. And then if there's any off offsets, not common, but if needed. And then your row spacing and the number of rows on the head. Harvest height, we will wait to set until we get to the field. And then we'll come in here to our save and load and then we'll go in and get our head saved. If we make any changes, um, probably more so on the head side, um, up here within your head measurements, or particularly once we get the harvest height set, we can come in to save and load and hit the update button and it will update that profile.